Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Today we're moving into another area here on the far end of Bikini Bottom. It is going to be right over here. This is, I think the Flying Dutchman's graveyard. Yeah, right there, so beware. Can we open up this chest? We cannot, so we're going in here. It's very spooky. You can see the giant green moon and the floating ships and graveyards everywhere. Uh, this is a little scary. I don't know how this level's gonna go, but we'll try it out and uh, hope for the best, I guess. But yeah, I think there's only a couple of levels left. I think there's this one, I and mean, I think there's one more, and then maybe we're done at that point? I don't really know what's gonna go on. The graveyard of ships. Somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome specter awaits. Oh. Oh, and there he is, <laughs> right there. Wow, how do you do? Uh, hello, uh, Mr. Flying Dutchman. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> yes, yes. Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. <laughs> I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? <laughs> no, but if you do this, a golden spatula Ooh. be your booty. Now get going. All righty, let's talk some more time now. Have you done everything I told you yet? Not exactly. Well, get aloft there and get those robots. So even the robots are giving uh, the Flying Dutchman an issue. Uh, that's pretty crazy, but these guys are new. Some fish <laughs> threw a rock at them. Oh my gosh. Oh, poor fish. So he throws out like big, big balls of tar. <laughs> what is SpongeBob doing back there? Oh my. Whoa, whoa, watch it, SpongeBob. So he's got some kind of crazy aiming we gotta be careful of. That was a little weird. And he's also in a bubble. So there's a lot of weird things going on here. What is going on with us? <laughs> that is weird. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna try to take him out. I don't know if that's gonna work with the bubble. No, it won't. So I wonder what I have to do to take him down. I'm, I'm a little confused. Uh. But there is a box over here I can activate. That'll be good. Oh, you know what? Maybe I have the fire right back at him. That worked. Okay, cool. Oh no, oh no, can I fire away at his shot? Oh no, SpongeBob! Oh, there is a golden spatula down there. Okay. I think we have to drain the ocean then, or this, whatever this is. Not quite an ocean, there's just a bunch of green goo on the floor. So this level's already proven to be a bit difficult. We'll try again though, and <laughs> hope it turns out a little bit better this time. Um, also, we should be trying to get this stuff. Remember that this is very useful. There we go. So yeah, let's get back over there while we have some distance on him though. Oh, and it looks like we can also play a Sandy in this level. I can already see the uh, floating Texases. But I was actually, you know, one thing I've been surprised about this game, I thought that eventually we'd run into a level. Oh, the bubble's back. That would make it so that we could play as all of the characters, but. Not quite yet. Boom, there we go. Gotta be quick with it, but that's gonna give us a good chunk of stuff. Robot Encyclopedia, which probably means we've now defeated one of each type of robot. Presents. So that's pretty cool. It really shows you that we're coming up on the end of the game. Anyways, Just what's going on over this way? I'm gonna destroy you, and then destroy him quick. I think I got all of them. We already activated this box, so if I just want to real quickly, boom, hit that. Coming at and same thing for these guys. So like I said before, it looks like there's a golden spatula down here, but I might have to come back later. There might be a way to like drain this little green goo area or something, because I don't think we can get down there right now. But we can go this way. And I'm sure there's gonna be plenty to explore, so it'll certainly be interesting. Oh my, oh my, ready, ready? Oh, that didn't work as well as I wanted it to, but we got him still. That's nice. And we're still trying to get, I think, 12,000 of the shinies. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna move that over there, interesting. In the meantime, still plenty left to explore. Huh. And I guess if I hit this button over here, 
that'll make it so I can get up those gravestones, which I'll do in just a second. I wanna check this out first. Uh, we got a uh, clam. Feed the clam for 2,700 shiny objects. I guess I will. And that's gonna open a chest. Oh my. Dude, this, this level's pretty spooky. I'd say even more spooky than Rock Bottom was. And that's gonna lead all the way over to that one spatula we saw, isn't it? I think so. Maybe, yep, there it is. Called it. Okay, this is weird though, because it, aha! Um, I'm a little confused on where that is. This might take me a couple of seconds to figure out. But somewhere around here, there's a ship where that ooze is leaking from that. We're right over here. I need to get closer than that. Maybe not though, maybe not. We might be able to make it. Ah, uh, so close yet so far. So let's just move a little bit closer, like right here. SpongeBob, to Mission Control, the launch yep. is a go. Here we go, come on, come on. And, oh, we got it. Nice, so that's gonna drain everything. Is it totally gonna drain? Not quite, so we still have to watch our step around here, but there's a bunch of shinies we can get now too. The problem is I, I don't know which way we're going. If this is the right way to be or not. Is it permanently drained though? Yeah, there's no timer or anything. So I guess so, interesting. Good to keep in mind uh, that we can just explore all of this now. Let's destroy this before it causes any more issues for us. Boom, gotcha. And you. Oh, is there any other enemies around? Not that I see at the moment. I wish we had the sponge roll right now. That'd make things go a little bit faster here, but we're almost there. But the thing is, is this open now? It's not. It sounded like it un unlocked or something, but do I have to pay another 2,700 to the clam? I don't know. Weird. Okay, well, let me get back over there and we'll try to figure that out. So the good thing is that, the oh yeah, and there is a sponge roller over here, okay. Weird though, did I, is there, a oh yeah, that's right, this button right here. Gotcha, so now I have 30 seconds left. I understand now. We got this. Whoa, okay, watch it. I got bounced off of like a rock or something. We can handle this no problem now though. Oh boy, if, as long as we don't fall into the goo. That's it, and thank you very much. So there's our first golden spatula here in the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Mega spatula seeker as a trophy as well because we've gotten 75 in total. Whoa, whoa, we're jumping up that real quick. So yeah, actually, so far, so good. It seems like we have found basically everything we can. I'm guessing that we can get over to that sock is Sandy, so whenever we get a bus stop, I'll look around for that option. But for right now, let's get up this way. Don't see any other way for us to go, really. Nice. Oh no, it's these guys again. So they're gonna make the big fire happen if we're not careful. Ah! Oh! Yeah, I can't quite get that guy. Well, maybe if I do this. There we go! That's usually not how I solve that situation, but which is how we'll do it for right now. Yeah, the enemies are getting tougher and tougher. Like a new sponge. So be very careful. But for right now, I can go for this guy. You don't move around too you much, just sir. Met the sponginator. So I definitely think this level is gonna be the biggest challenge yet. Whoa, whoa, that was weird. Well, let's get up this way, get that one yellow thing. Oh, and what's over here? Aha, another golden spatula. This one's quite hidden. I like it. Boom. Now for 76. I'm gonna guess there's probably about 100 in the game, if I had to imagine. But, well, I guess we'll find out. So how do we get back up? Oh, I guess with this. Boing. Awesome. So it's, it's always worth it to be exploratory. And we gotta press some Sometimes buttons around pushing here. pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I suppose that's true. So let's hit this one there. Aha. And will that work? Oh, it won't. Huh, weird. But I guess this would, right? No, also will not work. Well, this will. Okay, this is an odd situation, but I guess with that, we can get over here. Actually, I'll get that real quick. And now we can make this jump. I don't know if I did that correctly. There wasn't anything else I could reach. Whoa, this is tilting over. I don't like that. Let's get this guy. Gotcha. Oh, now we have you. Destroy that bubble real quick, and then fire another one at him. Oh, I don't like his tar bubbles. Come on, come on, got him. Get him again, ow. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> we gotta be quick, we gotta be quick. There it is. Nice, he takes three hits, I guess. 
Either that or when he gets his bubble, it resets his health. So we're doing pretty well right now. Once again, we have to come back here as Sandy for some extra stuff. There's quite a few of these around now. Hmm. No, don't fall. Whoa, this rock isn't really there. It's a fool's rock. Say hello to my little bubble friend. I'll destroy this guy. I don't know if that was really worth it, but just trying to get close enough. I don't know if this is gonna fall or not. Oh, he's gonna notice me from there, so that's gonna hurt. Oh, we met it in the air though. That's cool. But if I can get him before he can get me, and then go, 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 come on, come on. Nice, that's all I wanted. So once again, we'll destroy a couple more robots up here. I don't know if there's a robot generator around. With this many, there usually is. And there's another golden spatula for us. Oh, yep, there it is. So we'll destroy all of these guys and then just get this up there real quick before it throws in too many more. Thank you. Oh, they still got me though. They're tricky. So how do we want to do this then? I mean, what exactly are we trying to get up to even? Not over there. I mean, I guess just up this way or something? That's a little weird. I will knock this one back. This one, well, I guess I can only knock it over. Huh. Well, yeah, knock this one over, knock this one up, and then this one back over, and we should be able to get up, I guess to there, yeah, there's a button up there. Gotcha. Okay, grab these extra yellow ones. Yeah, not bad. Whoop, nice. Whoa, timber! And I guess it'll get us over to this golden spatula. No problem. But is there anything else we potentially missed around here? Really doesn't look like it. I think we've done a great job. So let's keep it moving. Whoa, we're sliding on this. I was not expecting that. And then there's the golden spatula waiting for us. Is that the one the Flying Dutchman was talking about? I guess so. And I think there's still more robots to destroy on, on those ships. Yeah, that big robot ship is the thing we're sort of worried about. But here's another box. So we still haven't found a bus stop, but whenever we do, I mean, maybe I just missed one. I really don't think so, though. If we find one, we'll be able to get some extra stuff done with Sandy, which would be cool. But in the meantime, I'll keep moving forward. We got some perilous jumps I now. I def like definitely need that extra underwear, whoa. But what's going on down this way? Looks like we got somewhere else to be now. The graveyard of ships. I mean, there was already quite a few destroyed ships here. How many more could there possibly be? <laughs> Guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, this level's really cool so far. I like this one. Ahoy there, Mr. Squidward. Swab the poop deck. <laughs> yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there. Ooh. All right, then we'll try to get that then. Can I talk to you again? No. Usually you can talk to them at least Whatever one more time. There we the go. Answer is no. Ah, <laughs> poor SpongeBob. So, ooh, we got a couple more of these guys. Oh, now they're all moving around in a weird way. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Gotcha! There we go. I'll do that real quick. Oh my. Oh, yeah, it exploded him, cool. So we're getting a lot more sparklies now. Oh, these platforms fall. I was gonna say the controller vibrates Just when you stand on them. Like, what's with that? Take that? Hmm. So I'm just trying to be very careful as we progress forward that I'm not missing out on anything. Because it just seems like a tough place to backtrack. But ooh, here's a bus stop area. Once again, we'll have to backtrack with that at some point. But that was just so that we can get up here with SpongeBob. Definitely can't get up here without him because that was a wall jumping area. Sandy can't quite do that. And then over this way, we got this right here. Back it up. I love opening nice. presents. So here's a, yet again another bus stop area. This time we definitely need Sandy. Because she needs to uh, do some floating around right over here. But this area is starting to get a little bit more open, so I'm just trying to keep watch on anything I could be potentially missing. I mean, mostly I'm just worried about golden spatulas, which are usually not too crazy hidden. And am I supposed to be going over here? I sure hope so. Looks like it. There we go, checkpoint. Because that looks like a big opening. I don't know what's up with that. Hmm, weird. We'll check it out eventually, I'm sure. But for right now, another big jump. I definitely want to, yeah, go for you first, because you're just not fun to deal with. Now these guys, we should be able to just karate chop away, no problem. Well, that's all for pretty. Yeah, I guess the sparklies are pretty. Uh, 
once again, just trying to be diligent. I don't know if I could jump onto that big propeller, but probably not. And I will activate those, and if I just run away, they should explode. So that's good. Still don't like the laser guys very much. Nice. Now let's carefully go around this side, <laughs> activate you. And I guess we'll need the bus stop again. Not the, yeah, yeah, so that we can get up to SpongeBob. Oh, you're right here. We get up with SpongeBob, you know what I mean. I'm so spooked by all the, all of the uh, graveyard ships, or the, the grave ships, the graveyard of ships. I can't even speak correctly. I guess we only had limited time for that. It worked out pretty well. But I actually like that. We're, we're switching between SpongeBob and Sandy quite often. And we got a little purple one right here. That's 50 of them, so it's always worth going out of our way to grab those. But, whoa, look at this. That's really cool. Haven't seen that before. So there's some more uh, hammer robots over this way. Gonna slam on you, ready? Boom, gotcha. Not bad. And here's another one of those, it okay. Shines. Now this one's a little scary because we don't have that little platform on the bottom to protect us if we mess it up, but we made it, we made it. So who's firing us? Oh, it's this guy again. I'm friend. gonna get you. All right, that should cancel your attack. And then if I immediately throw out another one, should get you before the bubble pops back up again. And that gives us 100 for taking those guys out. So that's really nice, definitely worth doing. Do I even need that? I probably shouldn't have played it so risky, but you don't. Ow, that hurt. Oh, and there's another clam right over this way. What's with this one? So do you wanna feed the clam 2,700 shiny objects to ride the bungee? I would love to. Oh, would you look at this? Whoa. Let's get to it. Oh boy, golden spatula waiting for us right off the bat. Whee! So there's 78 of them. Now, I don't know if I should really bother too much with trying to get these explosives. Whee! I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. Well, there we go. Awesome stuff. So how are we doing with golden spatulas so far? We already have four of them. Of course, just one to get to the end of this area, and then three more after that. So we're making really quick progress with this level. More than I would think, because I, I feel like the levels have been getting longer as we go on, but this one, storming right through it. It's been actually more linear than you'd su suspect. What ha What is happening? That was weird. Okay, so that might be a bit tough to pull off. I'm a little worried about that one. <laughs> okay, trying this again. Whoa, that is weird. So we're supposed to be keeping pace with it. I sort of just want to switch back to Sandy, but she's not around. And if I go too far back, that one robot might get me, so. Wow, I don't like how the camera angle changes as soon as you jump. <laughs> oh no. Okay, come on. You have to sort of wait for it to go all the way back before you get started on it. But then there we go. Wow, that was tough. I do not want to do that again. I died a couple of times doing that. Luckily, there's no lives in this game, so we're fine. But I do want to go ahead and get rid of this guy before he can even have the chance to attack me. Makes it a little bit easier, right? And I don't see too much else going on. We're just gonna keep moving forward. What is going on with this? The wall jumping is getting a little crazy. Oh my. So we really gotta get at the top of it. There we go. Whoa. Oh, I was right at the end too. Yikes. I don't know, I should probably, not that, no, no, where do I start? Do I have to go all the way back at the beginning before? Oh my gosh. Yeah, the wall jumping technique gets a little crazy at this point. Oh no. Oh, that actually worked. Okay, we got very lucky with that one. Um, let me just very quickly get over this way. The, hitting the one robot into him was actually a pretty good idea. because actually exploded his bubble. I'm happy about that, that was so tough. So I really gotta try not to fall down here. Oh boy, there we go, we're, we're fine, we're fine. And would you look at that, another golden spatula with the 79 of them now. And we got this box right, right back to the beginning, so we never have to worry about that too much again. And where does this go? Anywhere? I thought this would like ride off somewhere. Oh wait, yeah, R1 to travel to the Dutchman ship. There we go, cool, so, so far so good. It's been a bit of a challenging level, but honestly not too bad. It, it's a quick one at the least. So yeah, let's see what's next. Oh boy, <laughs> why is Mr. Krabs up here? He's just chilling out, having a good time. What would this do? Will this bring me back down? Yeah, I guess so. That's fancy. I don't quite need it, but good to keep it in mind. Uh, hello, Mr. Krabs. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. Swab the poop deck. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. No, you didn't. Yes, well, it's a good one though, eh? Oh, 
Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> all right. Uh, can we you talk to him to again? destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Will do, for sure. Uh, it might be a bit difficult at first, but as long as we just get rid of every robot in our way, we should be fine. And also the generators. What do we got over here? Can we destroy the barrels? We cannot. And I don't think I need underwear. I no, like I do. Oh, it's worth getting then. So, ooh. That's one out of four. Got them all lined up. What about up this way? There's gotta be a way to get up there. Um, maybe, maybe not. Huh. I might get over, oh yeah, I gotta get around with Sandy, so we're fine, we don't have to worry about that just yet. Now this part's a little scary, but I think what I can do here is just, first off, hit him like that. He is moving all the way over. What? Oh, you're kidding. Darn. So there goes his bubble again. We definitely need to get rid of this guy as soon as possible, but if we just do that again, don't want to explode, and then just hit it right about here. Awesome, before the bubble popped up. It was probably just about to get there too, so that was great. Now this is where we're gonna be careful because these platforms will break as we land on them. Okay, so how do we do all this? First, I'm just gonna, ow, get hit by you, I guess. Come on, there it is. What about this? That was a silly idea. And now I got hurt by that, what is going on? Where are the generators at? Too pretty. Can't um, take it. it's up there. So I'm just trying to get to where it might be safer, but these guys aren't hunting me down. Here's the bus stop, which is great bus and everything. Stop, but... control. The launch is a go. Come on, come on. Oh, ah, uh, got it. Nice. That wasn't too bad then. Now we can get back down this way. Destroy you, and now I can destroy these things too. Ow. Which, ow, stop hitting me. <laughs> get out of here. This will make it much better. Oh yeah, and it just totally destroys these things. Thank you very much. Now these are green, which means they give me, was it five of them? Not too bad, don't know if it's too much to worry about. And then there's another one, as well as some underwear, which I desperately needed, so that's good. And let's switch over to Sandy. Okay, so what can Sandy do around here? First off, we can grab more of these. Oh boy, I always get scared jumping back over. This is the robot ship. Oh yeah, that was the uh, normal ship over there. Hmm, because I've only gotten the one cannon so far, so is there another one up here? Oh, you know what, I do need to switch back to SpongeBob for this. Gotcha. Okay, so back over here, switch to SpongeBob, and do some bubble bowling. I don't know which way we have to hit it. That did not work, so it has to be the other way. Oh, and that lowers that. Okay. And then, okay, so you know what I think I have to do here? I need to lower it again with, with the correct button this time. Boom. That will lower and hopefully gives me enough time that I can just get over with Sandy and get it set up. Because if not, like that seems a little weird, right? No, it's still there. Run, run, run. Got it. And now with Sandy, I still don't know if we can make this jump, just barely. Karate chop everybody. And there we go, all robot cannons destroyed. That's I great. I I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. I know, I know. Uh, let's get over this way. I do see a golden spatula way at the top, which is cool. Wonder how I get to that. Is that just with this? Whoa, it is! All right, well, not too bad. Very nice golden spatula there. What I'm curious about now is that there's still, of course, destroy the robot ship, and then one more after that. Okay. I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to be hopping down. But let me, oh yeah, there's there's one down this way. Oh, I could have gotten another 50 there. Maybe I'll go back to that in just a second. But she can't slam. So we need to, oh yeah, just switch it over to here. Okay, that makes sense. Got a little confused for just a second. Now we got it. So, boom, count in two of four. How do I get over to that one? Maybe that one I need Sandy for. Let's try it out. Welcome, this is a very convenient little bus stop right here. Jump across, boom. And that's gonna set the other cannon. So we're three out of four now. Which probably means that the last one is right up here. I can't see anything, but 
There we go. These jumps are a little scary and probably not even the most effective way to do this. It's probably better to bounce back up to where we just got that golden spatula and then float down with Sandy, but hey, this is the next best thing. There we go. Hit that button and all cannons are ready to fire. So back to where we were just a second ago. We can now go back over there again, just like this. Yeah, pretty quick. And I also missed a couple of yellow ones over this way. Luckily, I grabbed them without falling. Someone better make good use of all these. I will, don't worry. But there's 81 golden spatulas. And then finally, we can switch back over. And butt slam this button. There it is. That's gonna fire all the cannons into the robot ship. Awesome. And will we win the battle? I guess we're about to find out. Weird. Yeah, it's just weird how it sort of cuts to a loading screen, but. Yeah, well, that means we only have one more golden spatula to find. We did it! We got your ship back and defeated the robots! Hooray! Yes, you did! But now that I look at it, I think I'll keep this golden spatula. It's so nice and shiny. It reminds me of my first buried treasure. But what about our deal? Ah, never make a deal with a ghost. Deals don't mean anything to me. <laughs> except for that great deal I got on a butter churn back in 1873. What a prize, I tell you. Nothing beats creamy hand churned butter. Wait just a cotton picking minute, butter boy. We did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. Sea weasel? Ah, oh, them fighting words. Oh, no. If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on. All right, so it looks like Sandy is battling with uh, whatever his name is, the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Let's get to it. Phase one, lasso the tail. Okay. Oh boy. Whoa, I was not ready for that. Okay, he's got laser vision. Note taken. Uh, but I have full health now, luckily. How am I gonna lasso his tail? I can't just walk up to it, it doesn't seem. Oh my gosh, that's tough. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. No. It is just trailing all over the place. There we go. Keep hurting the ghost. I'll try my best. Oh, he's not happy about that. Oh my gosh, that's so quick. You really gotta stay away from it. Just keep my distance. I'm in so much trouble now. I only have two HP left over. And when this fire spreads around, that's also an issue. Oh, here we go again. There we go. <laughs> I'm not letting them beat me here. We gotta do this in the first try. Maybe, we'll see. I mean, I didn't start at full health. The two underwear it gave me were supposed to replenish my health whenever I lost it, so. If we go into it again, I'll also know what I'm doing a bit more, so we'll have some kind of advantage. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful with how the fire is spreading around, because that is just weird how that works. Um, yeah, that's so weird. I'm just trying to find a spot to stand for a second. I might not be able to do it. I gotta wait for him to do the laser vision again. Oh my. There we go. Okay, come on. He's gonna move over one more time. We'll dodge it. We'll do the fire move. We'll get him. Ugh. It's so scary. Okay. So we want to try to just be ready to immediately lasso him just like that. There we go. So we just gotta keep doing that. Are we gonna get any kind of health refill? He seems to be a pretty easy ball, ball so far, considering how little health he has, but his moves are tough to dodge. Oh, he's doing it four times now, huh? Oh boy. He's moving over now. Here we go again. Okay. I still don't know why he has laser vision though. It's, it's just sort of like a weird thing. Does he have that in any of the episodes? Who knows? There we go. Oh. He's gonna do it one more time. And now he should be moving over and I think doing the fire move again. Let's hope that's correct. No, he's not. Oh gosh, then back it up. One more time. So he should maybe move now. Okay, here he goes, here he goes. Got it. Had enough, you dirty ghost. Dirty? I'll have you know this jacket has been cleaned twice. Oh. Everyone stop fighting. I think I have an idea. Whoa. Here you go. Oh, it looks like my ship. 
It's even got all the little mold that flies. How thoughtful. <laughs> all right, you little rapscallions. Here's the golden spatula. I'm glad we could come to an agreement. That was interesting for sure. What a fun boss. And there we go, golden spatula number 82. And with it, every golden spatula in the Flying Dutchman's graveyard. I'm pretty sure, yeah. This was, it was not the easiest level, but it was surprisingly one of the quicker ones. I like it, I had a lot of fun. So yeah, we should use this to uh, travel back to the graveyard line, I think that said. Uh, and yeah, we'll just head back to um, whatever it was called, the the Bikini Bottom, <laughs> that's what it's called. There weren't very many socks in this level and we didn't really find any of them. So you know what, I think at this point we'll just go back to Bikini Bottom the normal way. I don't think we have enough of the socks to get anything, so I'll double check though once we get back home. Yeah, that was definitely a lot of fun of a level and I really think that there's only like one more level left then. There is one more right in front of the theater and maybe after we do that, there's like a boss fight. I'm not really sure, but we really are coming up on the end of the game now. It's been a blast, but surprisingly quick. Uh, this game's just been blowing by. It's been a lot of fun. But yeah, let's see. We have only two socks. So we're not gonna get anything more from, Spat from Patrick. So with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.